You don't even need a vest, even though you're wearing one tonight. It's that kind of weather. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm still trying to cover the winter blubber. <laughs> the 100 on the scoreboard here at the Alec Box Stadium. And he did it again. That one even faster. 100.27. The outfield plays him pretty deep and off to the other side. And he rams one between Dugas and the bag. A sharp single up the middle with two outs for Scott Jones. Runner is on the move. The pitch is swung on and missed for the second strikeout of the inning, and we are done. A two-out single by Jones. Dugas waves at another off-speed pitch. Come out of LSU, but it, I'd be hard-pressed to say Alex Bregman's better than Jason Williams, who plays shortstop here. The next pitch is called. Skeens, <laughs> Skeens come by, comes back and gets uh, rid of Xavier Carter. Here's Garrett Gray from Asheville, Ohio. Late swing, and he goes down quickly, and that's three strikeouts in a row, four on the night. He went back to the breaking ball. He strikes out the side. Five strikeouts so far, Paul Skeens. Thompson is a streaky hitter, and he's on a good streak, but not with that at bat. He came in batting 400. All speed, and it catches Jones looking, and he knew that? it. He knew it as soon as it crossed the plate. A very soft changeup gets Malazzo out in front. Pepe out to DH is on deck. There is strikeout number six for Skeens, five in a row, third inning. A liner to left field. Morgan makes a diving catch. Trey Morgan does in left field what he's been doing his whole career at first base, and that is Flashing, sparkling leather. Trey Morgan with a diving catch in left field. Steens strikes out to freeze. Three up, three down. That's number seven for Paul Skeens. Throwing a lot of off-speed pitches and doing it effectively. That time he misses high and inside, and the Tigers have their third base runner. Dugas can't find it. Napolt has a short lead, but he's off with the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the peg down is not in time. Napolt able to get in under the tag, get to the bag before the contact. Both starting pitchers have seven strikeouts through three innings. It's a tough one. And it falls. It's in fair territory. LSU takes a 1-0 lead. Tommy White drops one in no man's land near the right field foul line. Let's see if Graverson makes an adjustment. He throws another off-speed pitch. There's been only one out in three innings for the LSU Tigers other than by strikeout. Well, mix in the other pitches. He went back to the heat at 97 plus. Charleston Southern University tonight. Steens rips one through the strike zone and momentarily regains the lead in strikeouts. It's 9-8 Porter. Swing and a miss. More heat. Carter goes down for the second time. Strikeout number 10. The one-two pitch from Paul Skeens. Right down Main Street. Garrett Gray was locked up, and let's go back and look at these pitches. Kind of defense sort of let him down a little bit with two outs. Tigers were able to get a run. The second baseman was playing very deep, and Shea was able to move to his They're left. They're going to get a little catcher's interference right here. Tigers are ah. going to get a base runner. That floater misses a four-pitch pass and straight away. Cruz blasts one high and deep to right center field, and you can pucker it and kiss that baby goodbye. Dylan Cruz stayed back enough and drove it deep over the right center field wall. Dylan Cruz homers again. His second of the year. His 10th, 11th, and 12th runs batted in. By Gray, which put him on base, and then the rest is history. And now White draws a base on balls, and the first four batters for the Tigers have reached. On uh, in Alex Box Stadium. In the very first pitch, he plunks the batter. Jordan Thompson. Ground ball left side. 
to second for one and the overthrow at first base LSU will get another run out of it. This blooper finds center field that was on the fists of Jared Jones. Morgan is pinwheeling his way to third. He makes it. Morgan at third. And there's ball four. There is a squeeze. The runners are moving. Here comes a runner from second base. Safe at the plate. All kinds of things happening there. The Tigers rarely bunt. Malazzo got it down. The runner was coming from third base. And LSU pulls a little trickery against Sigworth. How about that? A little West Coast baseball in the South. Malazzo, not known for the stick, but he can bunt. He's a very good bunter. They get it down. But Pearson showing some wheels. The West Monroe product comes all the way around. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Skeens with a dozen strikeouts now. Swing and a miss. It's a Baker's dozen in strikeouts now for Skeens. And a new career high, 13. To not move their bottom half. You know, you can bend over and avoid getting contact as that ball's roped up the middle by by White. He, he wants his batters to dig in in the box. Runner again breaks. The pitch is elevated. So perhaps that has taken the place of that right back pocket, right. which, which was uh, turned over last year. That ball gets through the second baseman. Another run will score. And runners finish at third and first. There will be a play on this. Right fielder calls off the second baseman. And the runner at third tags on that play and scores. That's very alert base running by Thompson. He realized that the right fielder was out of sorts for Butler. The inning is over with Skeens and Bucknam and Herring. And a sharp base hit to right. Yeah, how about that? Bounce or anything. Well, I, I, I thought I had it. You know, I made a basket uh -huh. catch, but uh -huh. then the. A liner to center field. That's down for a base hit. Runner is being waved around third and will score standing up. Fry delivers with a single up the middle on an RBI. Well, Ronnie, here are those numbers you were, you were talking about. Nine inning average last season was 322 this year 248 so an average nine inning game was three hours and 22 minutes this year only two hours and 48 minutes the pace looks pretty routine this drive is headed to right center field it two hops the wall all base runners will score and a big smash and this crowd is appreciative of Cade Beloso, who has suffered so much the last couple of years. Per innings pitch. So that's, you know, as and you see that one way outside. He threw it hard, but he missed. Yep. Ooh, that's a foul ball. Oh, they're going to say it hit his hand. But that's a pitch that's high. And Butler gets its first run of the game, and that's going to be it for Aiden Moffitt. Contributor in the field and offensively. Well, he throws three pitches, and he strikes out Joey Urban in his pitching debut. Potential that he might have on the mound, and he's making his collegiate debut. He's ahead 1-2 to Billy Wirch. Ooh, very nice again. Three batters face, three strikeouts by Gidry. Two balls, two strikes. More than 11,000 tickets were sold for this game. And Gidry ends the game with a swinging strike, but not, not, not so fast, my friend. But that will be a strikeout. Breaking ball and hit well into right center field. Runner rounds third. He'll score without a throw and a double. Extends the game to seven Georgia Tech nothing that game is still in progress.
Ground ball left side. Scooped up by Joe Bear, and we're done.